our discussion of today and our panel is on social and ecological disruption in Ayawadi, you from ethnic community network for ecology, ecological recoveries. And this panel is co-organized by Foundation for Renewable Energy and Ecology from Chan State Myanmar and the Mekong Energy and Ecology Network, MINET. So this panel is going to moderate by Kun Vitun Pum Pung Sacharan from MINET. So Kun Vitun, the floor is yours. Thank you very much. Uh, welcome everyone to uh, our session. Um, we, we were cooling down a little bit <laughs> from the last session. So this session we we're looking at the uh, the Iyawadi River, which is the key river in Myanmar. Uh, we, when I'm say we, uh, I mean that the we are coordinate, coordinating team of uh, MINET. Uh, we've been working in Myanmar since 2013 on on issue related to Iyawadi and its tributary. Uh, so today, uh, I might do a little bit more than just moderate because we, we, we are the same team. So I might talk a little bit <laughs> more than, cool. yeah. Okay, um, first I would like to introduce our uh, panelists today. Uh, unfortunate that uh, the situation in Myanmar not allow us to invite or bring uh, many of our researchers who work on the community level to come. Uh, but we, we now we have, I'm actually I'm Thai, uh, but we have two, uh, our uh, Myanmar uh, friend here, uh, and one online. So uh, first I would like to in, uh, introduce uh, our panelists who are online. Uh, is Mr. Wu Mong Mong O. He is the uh, active uh, Irodi ac activist uh, who been uh, actually he he living there. He born there uh, and been active about Irodi uh, uh, for all his his life. So he is one of our key member of the uh, research uh, since the beginning. Uh, so today he will talk from Mandalay uh, to us. Uh, the second person that I would like to introduce is P.P. Tan. P.P. Tan is uh, also the part of our team uh, at that time, but now she's working uh, as a, a staff member of the Henry Ball Foundation in Myanmar. Uh, and then uh, last person uh, is uh, GPU uh, GPU uh, GPU is uh, also part of the coordinating team at the beginning, and now uh, the GPU is a coordinator of three. Three is a foundation for uh, renewable energy and eco and ecological in Myanmar in Chan State. So. Uh, to bring two of them here, we have to thank to uh, Henry Ball Foundation Myanmar that provides uh, logistic arrangement for, for them to come here. Uh, why is the slide cannot move? Okay. Uh, I would like to uh, introduce a little bit of uh, what our project uh, that been uh, uh, researching in Irrawaddy. Boom, boom, boom. Slide make me clear. Uh, anyone make clear? Sorry, uh, we have a little bit problem of the technical problems. Uh, we cannot move slide. Okay, uh, I, I can start that uh, 
since, 19, uh, uh, since 2013, uh, we have uh, uh, discussed with the, uh, our partner in Myanmar, uh, mainly uh, So Young So, which is the uh, local group in Mandalay, environmental group, and also RIM, Renewable Energy from Myanmar, uh, and initiate the project called uh, the Community Center for uh, Strategic Environment Assessment, which is the, just the methodology that how uh, local community who mm -hmm. living uh, on the uh, river ecosystem can do their own research uh, about the you know, the uh, uh, situation of the environment uh, uh, and ecosystem that, you know, they're relying on. So this uh, approach, uh, we, uh, we will start by selecting uh, the community uh, in the Irodi area from the uh, watershed uh, in the north, uh, Kachin, uh, Kachin State. To the, down to the south to uh, Irrawaddy State. Um, so the, the approach that we use is actually to help to empower the local community about the situation that they can be ready to uh, deal with what's going to happen with the so-called, the, you know, the economic developments on the river. Uh, the project actually uh, support by the uh, Simon Poo Foundation from Finland. Uh, so Irova, the, if you're looking at this map, you can see that uh, there are uh, like uh, the different color of the map. So Irova, the river basin is the color of the dark blue. Uh, so you can see that they cover quite uh, I mean, or most of the Myanmar. And then the second one, you can see uh, light blue is the uh, Salawin River, and then the Mekong, a green one. Uh, so you can see how location and the site of Irodi River. Irodi is quite big compared to uh, uh, the other. Um, it's about, I think, 400 a thousand square kilometer uh, of area, and the length of Irodi is about 2,000 kilometer long. So if you look at yeah, the, the Irodi basins uh, yeah, cover majority of the total land of Myanmar. Uh, and there are a lot of uh, tributary uh, that uh, flowing to Irrawaddy from uh, east to west, west to east, especially uh, from the highland of Shan State and Chin State and Kachin State. So you can see from this map that uh, there are many pointed uh, with the name. So all of this is a development project that proposed to do uh, mainly is hydroelectric uh, electric dam on the mainstream of Irrawaddy and also Tibituri. So is that why we think it's very important that the local community uh, might need to uh, empower uh, to, you know, how can they deal with what's going to happen with them. So that is why our uh, project started. Um, so we have been uh, uh, discussing with our partner in the local group, uh, and then we uh, provide what they call the uh, uh, re community research facilitator training. So, so the activists become uh, facilitators for community research to go to the community and how can make the community to become a researcher to doing a research. Uh, by themselves and use a lot of uh, mapping uh, and discussion uh, on that. So uh, the, the team have uh, identified the uh, location of the research site by selected from the different types of ecosystem of Irodi. So Irodi have different ecosystem from the 
uh, Kachin State, which is a quite watershed uh, forest area. And then you already have a dry zone. Uh, uh, so that is another different uh, ecosystem. And also having an ecosystem of the, the delta. Uh, so, but anyway, uh, first we selected to Ilwin's uh, site, research site, and, and that, that after, after the, doing a research, I just want to, to tell the, the process a little bit. Uh, then the, we came up with uh, fighting on you know, some serious problem. We are not looking at the, how great, how mighty of Irwadi, because that is quite clear, people know in Myanmar. But we're looking at the, uh, the, the problems that occur in, in Irwadi from the view of local community. Uh, so after we've uh, one, one, one round of the study, we have presented uh, at a conference in, in, to the public in Myanmar as a Justin Hall. Uh, this is the uh, first we, we, we did, we did. And then uh, we have a, also in, in a conference in Mandalay. Uh, and then we have a second round uh, of the study. Uh, again, we... Uh, Select Ilwen site, but uh, to adding some weak point from the first round, uh, and after that uh, we have also the con national conference uh, in in uh, Yangon uh, with the um, uh, very uh, uh, how you say a lot of uh, audience and participate participation from the public at that time. Uh, and exhibitions and so on. So this is, I just want to uh, give you uh, the background and the process, what, what we have done uh, through this one. But what I would like to start now is I will invite the uh, uh, Umong Mong Uo to start uh, his presentation speaking on uh, maybe more update situation of what happening in Irodi, especially in the area that he living around the Mandalay. So please, Omu. Uh, Hello, okay, good morning. I go to your lawyer, you know, or Juma Padabian Bibu or the Chatterton in Nelly Sabibano. Come on, okay. You know, I'm a woman, Uba. Saying also, adapt these net. Natural Green Alliance, the Bawa Sema, who found the two children there, the Okay, so he is a leader of green activities uh, or Seng Yang Su, and, uh, and now he is the leader of Nature Green Alliance that based in Mandalay, and he want to uh, update the current situation of the river. Okay, go sub Joba. Okay. Okay. ကြီးဘုံမြင်ပုံရှုမြင်တုံးတက်ပုံကွဲလဲမှုတွေအောက်မှာညစ်ဆင်းဆင်းအာအထိကိုင်မင်းအာကြာဆုံးတရားတဲ
Techno Trekki Gajaro, Nipiga, Nipi Sura, Tuya, Les Champia, Josiwa, Toya, Nia, Chit, Tua, Song Chagate, Ali Lune, General Nipi, Ha, General ER, Nipa, I say, I say, and check, Bama, you tissue the machine when it, she gave in there without monitoring, Bama, Saudi, the machine when it located now, Ma, General ER, Nipa, Tiga, Nyazwa, Nessi, Chanti, Chini, Giavare. And then uh, the government also, also think about, you know, only four or five years of their terms. And the technicians, uh, when the technicians came, the technicians also thinks about, you know, different uh, time setting of 20, 30 years uh, for uh, just to plan with their own knowledge. And then the, because of these different views, the, there is, you know, problems happening with no monitoring, no caring for the, uh, with the metamorphosis of the river. Okay, General, CSCA, so the ARE CSCA, so the Community Strategic Environment and Assessment Impact, so the concept of the state 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 Marapura, Mute, Seaman, Gaina, Manali, Yu, Nakama, Nipi, Yinle Gaunati, Yi Pobido, Mute Devu, Chosani, Pari, Yet Nostad Rea, Nilha, Chiswado, Tayamuri, Shini Gavale. So this picture is a you know, building of river banks for, uh, to protect the river erosion. And then the uh, downstream of this is the expan city expansion project of Amarabura city. That, uh, that also going to uh, build the river banks up to the middle of the river. And then the, um, that will uh, create the same dis uh, of the river channels. Okay, now we have to slide เอียร์รีเนี่ยนิจจะแท้ๆตะไบ้จินน่ะมานิ้นเลยก่อมาใส่ยานี่อ่ะดิเพียงยิ้มใส่ไปတော့ยิ้มจ้องอ่ะดิ
ตะมุซอปีติกาซ้อนทุไลเตโลวะตั้นสิงเนมชีเบซ้อนทุไลเตเซเลมะปายไลเนโตมัยอะชีชีเนนิยาโกต้นทุบีโตท่าวเนญิ
And then because of these, uh, you know, Tokhtawuri River and Irawuri River got flooded, the um, ancient city got, you know, collapsed in 2016 and 17. The, uh, with the walls of the cities were been down to the river. ไอ้หลุไตซ้ําหมู่นี่จ้าวหมู่เอาไว้ตะมั้ยหวนเนี่ยตู้เนี่ยญีญาติฮะญาติเปียซีซုံชုံนี่บาจองเลยเจนเน
ตาเสียเนาะทุกข์ทุกข์นี่เจอกูที่ไอ้หัวหน้าเนี่ยส่งเกี่ยวเนี่ยเจอเลยอ่ะจะรู้ที่แค่ปีเราไอ้หลุด
a lot of landless people, you know, moving around in the, inside the river with the, you know, new changing uh, movement of the soil. So those people who lost their community also in terms participate in, the, in this Ill illegal logging and illegal fishing processes like gangs. And on the, uh, this, is the, this is the river that flows into the Irrawaddy River in, in the upstream. In the second, we call the lower watersheds of the Irrawaddy River. This is Mu River Basin. And in the, inside the Mu River Basin, there are, uh, the first dam in the Mu River was been built in 1886. And from that, uh, that also was one of the, this is also one of our research sites in Zakhain region. That, uh, you know, river has been, you know, blocked dams after dams. After one dam was been filling, people built more dam downstream, and there are altogether five dams, and this blue one is the fifth dam on this river before it flows into the Irrawaddy River. And this is uh, also the second largest irrigation dam in Southeast Asia at that time around in 2010. And relo uh, the relocation of the people there was then improper. People did not get, the, uh, get back their land and people were being pushed into the forest as landless people. And they are illegal settlements, settlers inside the forest. And then what do they do is that when people cannot do their normal agriculture, they get off the forest illegally and they are selling these logs. They are always fighting between the police and the local uh, villagers. So farming, and, you know, and living on the river basin, base, river bed in the dry zone area where there is very green, very prosper in Jin and Zhao. These are plen uh, this river bed uh, farming is very plentiful because they don't need to use agriculture, you know, chemicals, fertilizers, and pesticides. But what uh, happened is that these are not stable in camp. This, uh, this land is not stable at all because of the landslide like this always happening in the rainy season and people have to be you know, relocating, moving out and they might lose their land at any time. So these are the you know, landslides in the in downstream of the Irawadi in the dry zone area. Please move down. And this is also in Yin and Zhao, where there is one of the tributary of the river uh, has been, you know, is happening, suffering with soil erosion. Their, their roads were being fell off. And this, uh, uh, in return, many people who cannot, uh, you know, have a stable income, who, uh, whose livelihood has been, you know, disrived many times, they also start to involve in all illegal, you know, catch, uh, you know, illegal economy businesses like illegal fishing. They do overfishing in the river patch. They use electric shock. They use many, uh, you know, illegal fishing gears. That uh, that also also cause a lot of, you know, declining of the biodiversity. They, these are the fishes. Been di uh, these are migratory birds that usually come to the dry zone area into the river. But you know, how, did, how do they end up is that when they come, many villagers shoot them to, for eating. And this is uh, the last part of the, you know, all those problems from the upstream goes down to the Irawadi Delta region where there is, uh, you know, all those chemicals, pollution, get to, the, uh, to them. And in the Irawadi Delta, the riverbeds are being, you know, more and more shallow. These rivers in the past can use for travel, uh, travel but now they cannot use for, uh, you know, traveling. So people, you know, start to follow uh, from the Irawadi Delta region. People also inquire, talk to the people from the upstream, and they also try to find out what is happening in the Irawadi Delta region. There are biomass classifiers that use for the, you know, milling of the rice from the rice husk mills that discharging into the riverbed and 
then people uh, would through the CSE, there were there are you know experts that are really uh, that are experts on the water pollution and biomass classification. They do uh, engage with the DRI, Department of Research and Innovation, to reduce the you know um, wastewater discharge into the Irauri River from the classification at the delta. So the Second level of the research in the Irauri Delta region was been happened with uh, in 2014 and, and 15, together with the Department of Research and Innovation to, pre uh, to present the way to how to say way to control the river pollution, water pollution, and also the uh, fishery research. One fishery research was been done in the Delta region. Thank you. Yeah, you can see that the Irodi rivers, uh, in the past, they, every year, delta is growing uh, because of sediment that came down uh, from the river. Because Irodi is a river that uh, very much uh, carrying the, the, the low sediment uh, from upstream. Uh, but what happening today the delta of erodi are uh, eroding, declining, and um, is minor growth. Is so that is a big change. So what we have learned, this is something that uh, yeah the uh, resource uh, you know exploitation uh, pressure from you know in the, the in the Kachin area we you see the locking mining is because of close to the Chinese uh, border, uh, and you can see that the other parts uh, are growing up industry, especially in the uh, area of Mandalay, and, and so you can say that the uh, Irwadi has become like a, a, a lot of pressure, uh, especially uh, the tributary, you know, being dams, and then the sediments are not coming down. Uh, so we are, after we have learned from this, we have raised a question of what happening uh, at the tributary level of Irrawaddy, especially in Chan State, which is, uh, uh, you know, feeding uh, uh, water from, you know, for Irrawaddy. And so we are following uh, the, the tributary, then the research uh, become uh, created uh, to the one uh, tributary of Irodi called Saji River, uh, which is uh, the uh, flowing from the uh, Chan State. Uh, so I will uh, give this to uh, Tipil to present. Hello, uh, good afternoon, everyone. I think uh, two of my colleagues, uh, before explaining a lot of our very long research, like uh, we taking like uh, five, six years since 2013, along the kind of like Eari River, uh, we see a lot of issue in the Eari River and socioeconomic and, and it all related issue uh, we have found and like uh, <coughs> also sharing to the public and other like a uh, stakeholder as well. So now I I'm going to uh, uh, share what I'm going to do like uh, in the mountain area that the research now shipped into the like a uh, mountain community in the southern Shan called the Danute. Uh, Danute the is a uh, cell. Uh, autonomy or whatever you say, set administered region of Southern Shan. So why uh, this area so important we are seeing? Uh, because uh, this is like a kind of green ecosystem area. Also you can call one of the remaining like a uh, very unique uh, green area, mountain area, very connected to the uh, the mainland of the you know, dry zone, that's the ARE basin. And that's my, my friend already explained. 
So I think here, like uh, you can see the no uh, graph, like a uh, kind of how to say the the line is like a boundary of the three uh, three the new area called like a Zhuang, Pindia, and Yasa. So and then uh, we are go we are doing the like a uh, research uh, the small small you can see the uh, the village name. So we are very much working with the this community. I think uh, more than I think 40, 50, no? uh, the mountain community village along in these three area. So normally uh, the nature of the, the the area is the mountain. There's a quite high, like uh, around uh, 4,000, 5,000 feet high and above, some area 6,000, uh, like a high, high land area. And like uh, the people are in this area in the new land, normally they grow tea leaf, uh, orange, like uh, avocado, so many, many fruit, no? they're growing in that area. And also a lot of small creek and water resource. Uh, coming from like a three main like a uh, river or creek you can call like a originated from the at the mountain area uh, called the like a uh, we call the Shiminami mountain, Molonghe and other mountain. So we have a three river no, in this area. Like also Piviton also mentioned the Zoji, one of the main uh, river going down to the drying zone uh, like a, in the main mainland or the, the Mandalay, Mandalay and uh, the dry zone area, and also another Karani Creek and uh, Panlong Creek. That's three rivers uh, we are uh, working together with the community. Uh, so, and another very significant of uh, this mountain area is uh, their area is uh, already called no? like a cell uh, autonomy area. So, People naturally, no, and this area is mountain, and they also have their, how to say, this is an area of the uh, small hydro, community hydro area. So they, uh, they manage energy, water, forest by themselves. Uh, like a <coughs> also, they are conducting all the, all the centralized, how to say, uh, planning, the energy planning, uh, like a also connecting, but at the same time, they are very much, how to say, value their own, like energy planning, energy planning, like resource planning and other things. So here, like a very important of the uh, thing uh, I want to highlight is the uh, community participation, uh, people unity, and that area normally like the whatever they do him because they see in the other mountain people, uh, uh, small, small, like a uh, ethnic people, but they are very united, very united. And because there are lots of pressure outside, for example, like their area very rich in um, mining and also logging and uh, so many resources. So many, many like a people or company outside, they really want to grab the, you know, this like a valuable uh, area, like a, but they are very strong and how to say, protest their land, like a, by doing this kind of unity, working together, like a, how to say, maintaining their resource. So this is kind of like a, one of the uh, survey survey of the research, no? So community, uh, uh, like at the village, that we working together for surveying the, the watershed area. How, what is happening? Like, uh, even like uh, you can see on the top, no? This is like a, uh, should be like a 7,000, 8,000, uh, like a higher, the higher, 8,000 mountain. And yeah, we, we see the, the problem here because we are, here, like a small, small community, not only one community, but in some community, like a, there is a, some conflict, resource conflict between 
like, like a, this kind of, uh, like a, how to say, the community, because uh, in other, uh, two like a, how to say, like a, the new community, the new, uh, they are like a autonomy, but another one is like a, this is a centralized uh, government control area. So in some case, uh, the two, autonomy area is a very much risk, uh, resource like a logging or like a forest but the other area like a they want to take from this like a resource from the other side so they are trying to protest uh, a man sometime like a man then and at the same time they are very much like a how to say uh, uh, under the pressure from outside company who really want to you know like a they grab their, their resource. So this is something like a, you see the map, map. So like a, every week, every month, the, each village, they are doing their, the community mapping. And oh, for example, like a, in the one month, all the village gathering, and they draw, they develop their, their map, something like this. And then after that, all the mountain community, like uh, more than 40, 50 villages, they draw the, like, uh, how to say, they develop the map of the whole mountain range together and, like, uh, how to see they are, like, uh, uh, how to say, the community and how, what is the challenge, what is the, uh, like, a uh, barrier or what is the pressure from the outside. So this kind of uh, dynamite, no? dynamite and the practice are, uh, and growing in the, like uh, this mountain community. The another important thing is like a uh, woman participation. It very much, uh, uh, how to say, Im important. They are in some area, like uh, the women are like a kind of, 100%, they are leading. Like a uh, leading, like uh, how to say, like uh, in fo some forest management, some energy, uh, like uh, water. So those kind of area, they are trying to manage each other. So. What, what I want to highlight here is stay, we have a, uh, the whole country, we are lots of, uh, how to say, problem, issue, not two of my colleagues explain in the, along the Eyari River, so many issues happening. But in this area, the ethnic, small, small ethnic, they are stay very unite and trying to practice you know, the, the way of their, how to say, uh, their participation and decision making, and how to protest their land, how to protect their natural resource and everything. So we are really seeing uh, this dynamics that to grow in, expanding to the other area. Because we are, we see very like a, because their area is a very rich resource and providing a lot of uh, natural resources to the millions of people in the downstream, like in Mandalay. So coming, the, the river coming from that area and flowing to the, like a dry zone area where there are millions of people living and also a lot of, you know, like a crop and agriculture, like a, like a, how to say, like a, these are developing using their water coming from the mountain. So we are seeing like a, this is very important. Uh, why like a, the, the city people, the downstream people, to understand the mountain people, how to protect together the, the resource. Otherwise, like a, uh, we will see the conflict between the, the majority of the city people and the, the, the minority or the community, like a, they, will, they can be no, doing something, but the, in, in, in this case, we, we see this is very important to cooperate each other and protest the, uh, like, a, how to say, the, 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 the mountain resource together. So I think uh, I can be, no? stop here and like it. Yeah, thank you very much, Chipu. Uh, so do you, you hear the story that uh, you can say the, when we're looking at the ecosystem of river and tributary, from watershed uh, to the uh, the delta, we we see the level of uh, different uh, ethnic relationship, different uh, political social relationship of different group in Myanmar. Uh, you can say that 
the weak, weak group will be pushed to be living in the higher and higher, even among ethnic uh, minority themselves living in the mountain area. They're still living in the different altitude, right? The, the weaker one will be put on the top, something like that. Uh, and, and then you can say that the lowland or the mainstream river will occupy by the, uh, the uh, luring, you know, uh, ethnic, uh, which is, uh, of course, uh, they have a, a state power to legalize uh, the power, so you can see that how the resource and the management of those resource uh, will be determined from the, the, the lower one, right, up to the mountain, and how to control uh, the resource flow from the mountain down, right, especially water. So dam is the one of the uh, management mechanism that the state can build dam, and then uh, those can control the water to feed the dry zone, and dry zone become like a, a intensive agriculture, which is uh, because of the dry zone are uh, the, the the majority uh, ethnic living there. Right? So that that kind of thing, uh, very interesting uh, to 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 look at uh, this in Myanmar uh, uh, and ero erosion. So what we learned. Uh, from the so-called centralized, decentralized, especially in terms of the uh, electric city, you can see that many mountain people, uh, they build their own uh, small uh, uh, hydro, you know, generate electric city from pico hydro uh, or, you know, few kilo, I mean, uh, feeding one village. And, but that is not easy for them to uh, doing that because the regulation that controlled by the state, I mean the central state. So what happening after we, we, we working with the, the local community, uh, they raised this issue that how can uh, the community have a right, right to develop uh, something, especially uh, the decision to, 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 to do the small scale uh, electric city generation. And also, at the same time, in the rich area of, of uh, Chan State, uh, mountainous area, they are also having a lot of proposed uh, dam project or other project from state, from central state. How can local having any, uh, any, any, any why to say yes or no, or any kind of requirement for environment protection, so all of this issue, uh, brought, we brought this to discuss with one of the main uh, party called SNLD, Chan, uh, Chan, National, uh, Chan uh, National League Democracy, which is the second bigot uh, from the NLD, NLD National League Democracy. This is Chan's, so for Chan's, not, not just for Chan State, they also at the national level too. But we deal with them uh, to discuss, and then uh, we come up that, okay, they discuss a lot in Myanmar about the so-called federalism. Uh, how can uh, the state, uh, ethnic state can have a right uh, in the framework of, of, of federal, uh, you know, framework that not everything from the, 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 the uh, center so that come to the idea that can Chan State developing a green uh, energy law using a, a, a federalism framework that can giving uh, the decision making to the community, to the state, and at the same time to bargaining or to uh, you know protect their environment, I mean, their, their uh, safety from the imposition from the, the Nepidol uh, pro project, something. So then this have developed. Uh, because Chan State, you know, uh, from this map you can see, uh, there are the area that have 100, I mean, of the small, small, <laughs> there, I mean, hydro 
not, not a big dam, and have a lot of potential. So instead of waiting for big dam, waiting for the nat national grid, they can do at the village level. They can do by themselves uh, uh, decentralized. So that, that is something uh, making, uh, you, can, you, you, know, you can see how uh, decentralized electric city at the village level uh, initiated by uh, community going on. But the question is who, they have to go to get a permission, they have to go to, uh, you know, uh, so all of that came to, to the point that, okay, uh, SNLD agree that they will develop the green energy law uh, at the state level. Uh, we have uh, provided technical, uh, technical help for them, but the political decision, political idea coming from, from the people there. So this process is very interesting for us to learn that how can uh, we work between uh, you know, the so-called expert and the uh, local community and the politician parliamentary. Uh, to work together to developing the law or regulation that serving a need from from bottom, right? And and finally, uh, yeah, we came out with, I mean, the 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 law the the law that uh, SNLD submitted to the state uh, Chan State Parliament. It take one year. Right? This submit in uh, December. December 18, 2018, and came out a uh, one-year process. Uh, of course, uh, everything's, uh, you know, uh, drawing by, by local and by the local politician together. Uh, and when it go through the, the parliament, a question is about the many conflicting with the, the national law, right? But and, uh, anyway, uh, they come out came out with this, but unfortunately after, uh, I mean, this law came out not long, yeah, it happened like what you see, the coup d'etat, right, and thing, uh, we don't know how, how, but this can be a very good model for other uh, state in Myanmar, Kachin, uh, Kachin state, Karen state, and the other, uh, to, to start looking at how can they uh, developing you know, uh, regulation that coming from people, coming from uh, the bottom, uh, with this, uh, you know, can deal with the imposition uh, development from the, the central. Okay, that this is something we, we, we just want to share with you that how the, uh, how the process of participatory, uh, you know, empowering people by, uh, you know, uh, using the uh, river ecosystem, watershed area, uh, to, you know, working with people, and then those people f uh, using this uh, process and methodology to, to em empower, empowering themselves, to getting know their situation, what is the weak point, what is the, uh, strength they have, and how they're dealing with the pressure that coming from outside, and how can they, uh, you know, starting to uh, develop their own uh, power, uh, especially how can they uh, using the the political democracy right, a system or mechanism to to help them. Uh, yeah, we don't know. We still hope that these. One, I mean, three, we keep going on, even at the national level in Myanmar, is not much allowed. But we think uh, every, every day life of people in the village is still going on, right? You cannot say that everything has to be uh, talking about, you know, the, 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 the political at the, at the top, right? So how can we call the eatable democracy like this, right? can going on, how can this can helping to improve and to de determine for future. Uh, so, yeah, that's, that is what we, we, we can share with you. Uh, and then this, now what 
at the end, I want to, to ask GPU to say that uh, the process of the role of uh, NGO or, you know, facilitating uh, our group MENET have been like a step down and then we have, the, I mean, set up the uh, re registered uh, organization in Chan State. Uh, so you can talk about that. Yes, like uh, last last two years, like uh, we try to set up the like a uh, small small organization called Free Foundation for Renewable Energy and Ecology, the base in uh, the new land, and and that that's a very uh, we hire our uh, the area small small area uh, small office. Uh, be, it's really it's a behind. Uh, we register at the. Shan State government at the time, uh, but like uh, at that moment, like uh, you see, uh, the situation is not not really, not uh, it's not good, and like uh, even it's very difficult to travel in the community as well. So a, a lots of like a uh, conflict and fighting uh, happening in this area. Uh, but yes, like uh, we we have a space we can walk. Stay working on, especially now. I uh, we are more focusing on like a uh, community scale renewable energy uh, installation and like a uh, some project like a keep going on. And uh, we we still have a very good uh, community uh, working together for like a some kind of uh, like a uh, how to say. Uh, uh, project like a uh, forest management and especially for the small scale renewable energy solution. Okay, uh, yeah, we hope that the things that have been done uh, can be sustained, right? Uh, mainly from local community itself, but also some other uh, supporting institutions have been arranged, right? So uh, we hope that free and as an NGO can help to support those network of community in Irovati uh, and also in, in the mountain uh, watershed area to continue. Okay, maybe we have a few minutes to, if anyone needs uh, to reflect or having any question. It's, uh, Okay, then, the, yeah, we, we we might thanks to uh, Umang Mang Wu, who uh, chatting with us from Myanmar, and also, uh, yeah, our panelists who uh, came in from Myanmar in, you know, not uh, usual times, uh, and we have a, a lot of limitation to say uh, about what's going on. Okay, uh, thank you all of you too. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. So, yeah. so we come to the end of today and thank you once again to all the moderator, organizer and also the panelists and of course the participants here and on Zoom or on the Facebook. So uh, that's uh, the end of today and we will have one more day tomorrow, and we will start at the same time at 9.30. So please be on time. And for those who use the headset, please return it back to the registration desk.